The most profitable dairy beef systems are those that achieve high levels of grass production and utilisation. This is because grass is the cheapest source of feed, yet when managed correctly can support high carrying capacity and animal performance, creating high output grass based systems. A grass rich dairy beef system is one that achieves a long grazing season of between 250 to 300 days at grass, making high quality silage and where 70 to 80% of the animal's lifetime feed requirements come from grass, be it grazed or conserved grass silage. The growth potential of your farm should determine the stocking rate carried. Grass measurement and budgeting is important to ensure that the supply and quality of grass throughout the grazing season. Grass budgeting will give greater confidence in making management decisions, allowing farmers identify when a surplus or deficit in feed supply is likely to occur on farm, giving time for corrective actions to be made. An example of such is the recent drought where the dairy beef unit at Chagas Grange had to supplement stairs with a 50-50 grass surplus bale silage diet in order to hold and maintain average farm cover. These bales were made in May when growth exceeded herd demand. Dairy beef systems are in a good position to enjoy a long grazing season because of the very low spring grass demand and light animals. But this is only through grass budgeting that we can ensure herbage is available in the early spring or in the autumn by portioning out the available grass and controlling herd demand. Mid-season, the focus is on maintaining grass quality, targeting cover the 13 to 1600 on a 21-day grazing rotation. Calves should be offered the cleanest and most palatable swords, which haven't been recently grazed by older animals in order to reduce parasite burden. During the mid-season, the target is to ensure that there are between 12 to 14 days of grass ahead, and if this isn't the case, herd demand needs to reduce or increase by the removal or supplementation of surplus bales. Farms need to be set up to capitalise on their full growth and utilisation potential by implementing a paddock infrastructure while optimising soil fertility and sward composition.